this is Jose Cernuda with GreatDivers.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the buoyancy of cylinders. Now I have two cylinders here in front of me and one of them, the one with the cap on, is full. This one is empty. They're both aluminum cylinders and the reason why I want to talk to you about these cylinders today is because one of the things that happens when you go diving is you're going to be consuming the gas that's inside your cylinder. So at the beginning of the dive, because you have a full cylinder, you're going to be a little bit negative, which means you're going to be sinking a little bit. And towards the end of the dive, what's going to happen is because you've consumed the air that's inside that cylinder or the gas that you're breathing, you're going to tend to float a little bit. And I just wanted to illustrate so you see what that difference is in buoyancy, you know, with two cylinders. So I have a full tank or full cylinder here and I have an empty one. And all I'm going to do is put them in the water just so you can see. Empty cylinders float, full cylinders are going to sink. So if I take my empty cylinder here and I put it inside the water, what you're going to see here is my empty cylinder is actually going to float. So I'm going to put this in the water real quick here. And it'll take a moment, but you're going to see that the cylinder comes right back to the surface. And it's actually at the reserve pressure right now. So it's at about 500 PSI, which would be reserved for us here in the United States. Now, if I take my full cylinder and I put it in the water, what's going to happen is as soon as I let it go, I'm going to have to go back in the water and get it, but you're going to see it's just going to sink right to the bottom. So what this means for you is when you're diving, you're going to always have to put a little bit more weight to compensate for the fact that the tank's going to, going to float. And you actually should do a buoyancy check and find out exactly the amount of weight. You don't want to overweigh yourself. So I have another video on buoyancy checks. You want to have just the right amount of weight, but you want to compensate for that empty cylinder. So you have just the right amount of weight to be able to compensate for a tank that's added to reserve pressure. If you like this video, make sure you click on the like button. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and visit my website, greatdivers.com for more videos like this one.